what's going on everybody welcome to always occupied home and product reviews and in this review we have another solar fountain i love these little solar fountains man they are like the coolest thing to have in your yard this is a 2023 model every year they upgrade either they make it last longer or they uh they put like different designs on it. They make it do different things. They have new nozzles. So every year they have a upgrade on these solar fountains. This is seven nozzles. So these are the bullets, okay? And these are the flatheads, which I used to hate way back in the days when I was reviewing solar fountains from the beginning, but now they redesigning them and I'm actually liking the way they go on is it simple put it in has its own slot to go in and then that's it you twist it pop it off put it in the slot the slot is right there I know you could barely see it but there's a slot there and twist so and yeah excuse the dirty nails you guys I have been in the garden so yeah I haven't clipped my fingernails just to do this review I wanted to do this review so y'all can get y'all lawns and y'all gardens up to date. <laughs> Anyways, so right here we have the fountain, glass panel, black flowers in the middle. Uh, the last ones I reviewed had the blue flower, the green flower, and all that stuff. This one has a black flower, so this is pretty nice. All right, so this is not glow in the dark or nothing, just straight up fountain. And that's it, okay? And you get your four pegs. I call them pegs. You may call it something else. But these are very important, especially if you have like a pool or, you know, a pond. You don't want your solar fountain to be stuck in the corner, all right? This will prevent it from being stuck in the corner once I get it opened up. All right, there we go. So this will prevent it from getting stuck in the corner. Now, the way you install these things, at first for me, it was a little headache, but you know, after a while, after you start, you know, getting a lot of these things, then you start understanding. So you have this straw or peg or whatever you want to call it. It has a hole in the middle and then you have this little clip now what you do is you put it inside of the hole right there and that's it for that part all right now some of these are different some you can actually hook up to the fountain like this but obviously you see you cannot put this on the fountain so you have to look into these foam pads right here you have one two three four four slides so you slide it into the slot like that and then take a peg slide it into the other slot like that all right and then you do the same with the other two slide it right into the slot and then you have one last one. Slide it into the slot. And there you go. You have four points, four corners that you can work with. All right. And on top of that, you have these four pegs. But the most important part with these fountains are the filters. Yes, these are the most important part. I know some people have been mad because some videos I actually forgot to show y'all how to change the filter. I'm actually doing the video on how to change the filter and I will show y'all in this video how to change the filter. All right, so what you do is, you see how this part right here, your center, that is actually your motor. So when you pull it down, it comes down and when you pull that down you see this right here this is the filter you take it out and you clean it you either clean it or replace it 
Simple as that. Put it in. And then you can put your bullet on. All right. It's going to be hard for you to take it off with the bullet on. You cannot take it off with the bullet on. It's very hard to do. If you do, you might break something. So make sure you always take your bullets off, your nozzles off before you change your filter or try to attempt to take your motor off. All right. And that's about it. You want to know the size of this uh, solar fountain is uh, six inches and this is 2000 milliamp that means it has a battery in it okay that means you can put your hand over top cover it with shade and it still runs as tradition i test out all the bullets so right now we are going to test out the bullets first well i test out all the nozzles that's what i meant to say so right here that is one of the bullets i like now don't get discouraged this is one of my uh, bird baths that I'm testing out for review. Anyways, we are going to get into this one. This one is a six nozzle right here. Bullet. And wow, that is squirting up very high. You guys, that is well beyond 20 inches. This fountain is only 11 inches in diameter. So if I was you, I would get something like 20 inches um that will probably save you some water uh something like this if you leave it like this then you'll save water all day but if you're using one of these nozzles you're bound to lose all the water all right this right here is seven holes on this bullet back y'all up a little bit and the whole deck is getting wet but it is spraying up pretty high let's go ahead and get into the flathead and the wind is blowing also as well so that don't really help but just showing y'all that now this flathead was the seven seven holes on this flathead i'm about to switch this one out twist turn and it comes out this is another seven head it's not that bad still windy out here I think it's supposed to storm anyway so but as you see when the Sun comes this thing shoots up very high all right this is a 13 hit all right you guys so that is the 13 all right the water was running out of it so as you can see it works good like that um, I don't think this bird bath will be big enough to you know I don't think no birds would take a bath in it. Uh, my other one, the birds took a bath in it because it was like 20 inches in diameter. So um, if I have any photos, I'll show you all that. I don't think I have anything too clear, but you know, I have one of those. I seen the alien type of videos and it looks like that. That's why I never really put it out. Uh, I don't put out videos like that. I put out quality videos. So yeah, um, if you have a small, bird bath like this you may want to just keep your fountain out like this um the rest of the nozzles you will lose a good amount of water so yeah that's about it if you have any other questions comments concerns please hit me up in the comment section and i'll get back with you as soon as i can um i have been busy as far as the deck goes so i have not been catching up with my comments but we are almost close to the end of the deck series the redecorate series and we are damn near almost done i am going to go through every single comment i appreciate everyone from for subscribing to the channel and i'll catch back up with y'all with the next product review